Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome in to your Capricorn versus All Signs readings for July 2024. We are starting out this series with Capricorn versus Taurus in love. If you guys are new here and you guys have never seen my channel, if you've never seen this series of readings, what we do is we do an analysis of Capricorn and the other sign, but I do not say this is Capricorn or this is Taurus or whatever sign we're, we're working on because it is not fair for me to say what your life is this is left up for interpretation and for you to really feel the energy so i say person a and person b if that confuses you run it back and listen to what i just said all right so we're now analyzing the capricorn versus taurus romantic love energy but this this may end up applying as a friendship platonic relationship or family energy we are just looking in the energy of love between two signs capricorn being the main sign and then today we're taking a look at taurus as a secondary sign okay so person a person b and to make it easy i usually will pull out two stones two crystals so today we'll do person A and person B. So person A and person B. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this energy. Capricorn and Taurian signs and all cross watchers alike. Welcome in. Welcome back. Welcome. If you guys are new, I love and appreciate y'all so, so much. We are going to dive right into this energy. We're taking a look at Capricorn versus Taurus in love. And we're going to take a look at person A here. Person A for Capricorn versus Taurus. Soul searching. Soul searching. So it seems like person A is really in their in their own in in their own right, in their own space focusing on themselves whereas person B has love on the brain, sacred connection. Now, this sacred connection may be romantic or it may be fe a feeling of um platonic but it, it it feels very loving and spiritual in nature bottom of the deck here is make the effort new pathway mental entrapment masked offer it almost feels like you guys are coming together here so to speak coming together it feels like person a is not necessarily blocked off from love it, it doesn't feel like that it feels like person a is just really focused on self self-development self-growth how they can give back to their community um person b is like really feeling this connection really feeling this sense of love really feeling this this relationship this romance that may be coming about here especially with make the effort and new pathway and mental entrapment right so this make the effort new pathway this is this feeling of okay i'm gonna really be active and take these active steps to really head me and get me to this relationship or to the situation that I'm feeling here mental entrapment with masked offer there is a sense of a little bit of fear right I don't know how I'm gonna come forward or when I'm gonna come forward or maybe even why I want to come forward it's just this feeling of wanting to connect here especially with a specific person let's keep going Capricorn and Taurian energies in love we're taking a look at person a and person b here once again show us what we need to see here please spirit for person a yeah signs and clues the universe is talking to you bottom of the deck is unexpected connection i feel like person a is going to be the one <laughs> Person A is going to be the one that is surprised here. And then we have this um, energy of self-love. Love yourself first. I really feel like it's interesting how this, how this has come out, right? I feel like person A working on themselves, really doing what they need to do, but feeling this 
connection, right? Signs, synchronicities, things like that. But person B is feeling this to the point of needing to make the effort, wanting to make the effort. This person, it feels like they've done the work, they've worked on themselves, they're in a really good place in their life. Bottom of the deck here is freedom, love language, physical touch, and honest communication. Yeah, there's going to be a action, right, that, that ends up being taken here possibly from person B's standpoint and it's going to be towards person A. It's going to be in this realm of love, in this realm of emotion, in this realm of let's let's do this. Let's step together. Step in the name of love, right? We're going to look at thoughts, feelings and intentions. Thoughts, feelings, and intentions here, please, spirit. We're going to take a look at person B here first. Tell us about person B here. Mm-hmm. You have the Knight of Cups. Tell us more about person B. The Five of Wands. Tell us more about person B here. And the nine of swords so honestly person b has they're saying stage fright there's a little bit of stage fright going on um now this stage fright may be coming from past experiences or it may just be coming from who person a is or how they feel um how deeply they feel about person a um not necessarily a, a confidence thing, but just not wanting to overstep or mess something up here. We do have the Five of Wands. With the Nine of Swords. Now, the Five of Wands in the feelings aspect, I feel like there's a lot of like <laughs> heart racing, heart pounding, worked up type of energy here it's it, there's a lot of passion behind these feelings there's a lot of um emotion and and drive behind these feelings as well um and there could be some confliction that's going on with person b and not necessarily towards person a or it's just towards these uh their own signs, their own synchronicities, is the fact that they're feeling this sense of drive towards a sacred connection, right? And meaning having a hard time even believing that maybe there is somebody or is a person out there for them, right? And, and this can be a little bit off-putting, kind of going back and forth, leading us into the Nine of Swords with the intentions. This person may have a hard time, Nine of Swords, actually making this effort here, taking the time to really do what needs to be done because of this lack of feeling like I don't feel like <laughs> this this could possibly be true this could possibly you know pan out the way I, I think here you have temperance the hangman and the knight of pentacles yeah there could be a little bit of um analysis paralysis that goes on and the hangman with the knight of pentacles this is kind of a steadfast mindset so it can take some time to bring somebody to shift their perspective around this but in the thoughts there's a lot of emotional and loving and warm thoughts coming from this person about the connection all right tell us about person a here thoughts feelings and intentions yeah, Page of Wands. So again, picking up on signs, clues, synchronicities, High Priestess. I feel like Person A really does um, 
feel this and is picking up on a lot of this spiritually, a lot of this through their dream space, waking dreams, just their own signs and synchronicities coming from spirit. With the Seven of Pentacles being in intentions, there's person A is very loyal, loyal to the soil, and will water and plant what they feel like is worth their time, worth what is going to bear some sort of fruit here. And I feel like if this is shown to them, they are willing to invest in the other person and in the situation. Uh, and I feel like we have two people who are looking for the same thing, but maybe a little bit hesitant in the way they go after it with one another, right? And this is because of, again, past situations, lack of trust, lack of faith, this, that, and the third. And I do feel like here very heavily, um, person A really does intend to invest, really does intend to take the time and to, to water this plant, water this relationship, watch it grow, right? It's just a matter of receiving it. All right, show us what we need to see here, please. We're gonna take a look at person B. Tell us about this five of wands. We have the energy of the king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, states commitment. Tell us more about this five of wands. The knight of pentacles, trust. So person B has <clears throat> a lot to give, okay? I'm going to say that <coughs> person B has a lot to give and is a very mature and wise individual and doesn't really want fairy tales to run their reality here. but does believe in miracles, fate, destiny. And I feel like that's kind of why there's this whirlwind of emotion and this whirlwind of feelings. Four swords with death and the ten of swords. Yeah, it's with, with the hermit. And I feel like person B may be going through a very heartfelt emotional whirlwind here because of them realizing there's a cycle ending in their life where they're having to be more open to this relationship, to these types of connections that are actually spiritually guided. Wow. And it, it seems like there has been a major appearance of sorts. Um, of a blessing. Tell us about this nine of swords, <clears throat> which is why there's this toss and turn of feelings, not knowing really how to respond or how to to act on to that. Tell us about this Nine of Swords. Temperance, Angel of Peace, Sagittarius Energy with Ace of Swords, Victory, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Energy. Bottom of the deck is High Priestess with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. I almost feel like there is this innate knowing 
that this situation is going to bring a sense of peace, a sense of balance into one's life. And once the truth is spoken, once the truth is exposed, there's really no going back from that. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. I'm gonna take a bougie ass. I swear. I try to keep track of stuff, but. Once you be moving around, shit don't work. But they want me to look at. Alchemy, blending energies, harmony, moderation, masculine and feminine energy balance. You know, it feels like There's just a very, like the way it flows, like the way the energy feels, it just feels good. Does that make sense? Like, it's like the two energies coming together just makes sense. Bottom of the deck here was the Empress, the King of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. There's a very abundant and new, okay? This is very, very new um, and emotionally satisfying gift that comes in. And I feel like the gift is each other. Tell us about this high priestess here. <clears throat> for person A the moon angel of dreams the lovers I feel like you uh, person A is meeting this person in the dream space, yeah, Six of Cups. This person could also even be somebody from the past. Um, not necessarily. It just feels very warm and loving and supportive. Bottom of the deck, again, is the Seven of Pentacles. With the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. There's major motion towards something new and something solid here something very warm loving and heartfelt and it feels like person a is very intuitive here and again may very well be picking up on this energy in their dream space and becoming aware of it energetically Wow. All right, overall energy here, please, spirit. For Capricorn and Taurians in love. So we have divine intervention with the snake. Date. And crossroads. I 
I feel like something or someone is honestly closer than you think here with the snake. And I feel like this is a sense of like this divine intervention, this crossroads, this, this meeting point. It is a sense of karma and it's meant for a decision to be made. You will be given an opportunity here to meet up with this person, talk with this person, or expand the connection here. Feels like there may be some conversation that goes on about maybe what somebody went through or what was once experienced. Allow yourself to make a decision that is based off of where you want to be and not where you have been. Let's close this out here, please, Spirit. I've been manifesting you. I hate seeing you with them. And I ran because I wasn't ready for you. Bottom of the deck is I need to tell you the truth. Capricorns, Taurians, this is what I have for you. I hope y'all found this insightful and that it resonated. If it did or if it does, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure you're subscribed. And of course, make sure you guys check out my other channel, Divine Soul Tarot, where I do a general love readings for the collective. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll speak to you in the next one.